Hey there, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back with another wine review. We are back here again at Tootin' Tate's Wine Bar here in Verona, Wisconsin. Last time I was here, I did a few wines from here, and I really enjoyed those wines, so I thought I'd come back and give you a second run at the wines from Tootin' Tate's. So, for those who are new, these are wines that you can find at your local liquor store, grocery store, and some wine shop shelves. I give them a taste of the wines and let you know what my opinion of the wines are. This is just my taste. You remember that infamous thumb rating system? Thumbs up says I recommend this wine three quarters. You know what? I would have this wine at a party. I would share it with my friends. I maybe keep some bottles at home. Uh, halfway saying, oh, there was something about that wine. It's a little bit off to me, but uh, I'll let you know what I think of it. But doesn't mean you should try it. Thumbs down. Very easy one. Get that wine out of here. So let's get right back to it. So today we are going to be doing a wine from California. I'm going to California. The wine is called 5050 Pinot Noir, California. So 5050 because it's a combination of two different regions, two different appellations. So Santa Lucia Highlands and Santa Cruz Mountain. So a combination of two different wines coming from that area. Wow, it smells. Uh, wonderful. So again, this is a 2018 vintage uh, made by the McNelly fan family out of Sonoma. Alcohol percentage here. You know, I say this all the time. Oh, there it is. You should put the alcohol percentage in the same spot. So we're coming in at 14.5% alcohol here. Now, what are we saying about that? Is it going to burn 14.5%? It's a Pinot Noir. Is it going to be alcohol burn? Is it going to be smooth? Is it going to be fruity? What is it going to be? Take a look at that color. Is that a beautiful color? Wow. I mean, we give it a swirl. So we're talking about very light in color, almost garnet colored, you know, coming from the top, coming down to lower ruby, but very light in color on the nose. Ah, tart cherry, you know, very clean, fresh tasting. And this is 2018. Now, Remember the process, two steps. First step, always is gonna be a rinse. What am I tasting for? Red wine, white wine, doesn't matter. If there's no acidity in the wine, there's no play for me. Ah, wow, that nose is nice. Here we go, first sip. All right. Nice, mouth-watering acidity. Very light, very fresh, very clean tasting. Mm. Subtle tannins, you know, more like soft, medium tannins. Probably good food wine for sure. But definitely, definitely, if you like a dry wine, it's just very nice, soft fruit. This Pinot Noir will be great any time of year. Wow. Now for the taste, here we go. Wow, so that taste, cranberry, cherry, subtle raspberry, delicious, elegant, light, refreshing, clean. Not a bad Pinot Noir. You know, sometimes you have Pinot Noirs when they're barrel aged and you get more of that smokiness. This isn't gonna be that. This is gonna be a nice, soft, easy drinking Pinot Noir coming out of California. 50-50 blend, blend of two different regions. One more taste, and I'll let you know exactly what I think about this wine. Mm. So, your Wisconsin wine guy is going to give the 50 50 Pinot Noir from two different appellations from the McNally family winery. Thumbs up. Very nice, very easy to drink. I think you would enjoy this wine. I mean, for those who are looking for a dry wine, but nice fruit, but don't want a heavy wine, red wine, like some of the Cabs or Zins and Syrahs, this would be your wine. I think it'd be a good crowd pleaser all the way around. So there you have it, Wisconsin Wine Guy gives the 50-50. Pinot Noir 2018, a thumbs up. And as always, let your palate be the guy with selecting your wine, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!